Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. Cancer, I was going to use the tarot deck, but I'm being led to use the baby deck. Um, so let's wake her up. Anyway, my darlings, I'm here for your um, for your daily reading, right? This reading is for the collective, so Cancer, just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Um, and thank you, everyone, for all of your support, the likes, the subscribes, the comments, everything, the confirmations, you guys, the little smiley face emojis. Just thank you for everything, all of the love, Cancer. All right, my darlings, um, your oracle cards, they're telling me that somebody here is getting their karma, and it's really, really bad. I feel like they've been getting it in little doses and trying to pretend like everything's okay. All right, look at how they're being swallowed up here by this way. This person's about to be knocked over, okay? This is somebody who has ridiculed you behind the scenes, tried to turn you into a joke because of your spiritual beliefs, okay? I feel like cancer, you're very close to the divine, very intuitive. I'm feeling like this is your energy, okay? And they, you know, you pray a lot. You talk to the divine. You receive messages. Um, you may even be um, putting those messages out there for other people to see, right? Social media or the internet, something like that. And I feel like they, this person has gotten warnings, okay? They've been warned. Everybody has intuition. Everybody's been getting the messages, right? The difference in people is who listens to their intuition and takes heed of those messages and, and the people who don't. And I feel like this masculine just turned it into a joke. Not only did they not listen to the messages and trust their intuition, but they joked and made a mockery of what you are, the messages you're delivering and your spirituality, okay? And spirit is just like done with this person. Um, I feel like now they're scared. See, before they were laughing. They were they were making fun of you, okay? Thinking everything was great, thinking it was all a big joke, maybe talking to others about you, trash talking your name. Now this person is scared to they're scared. They're terrified. Um, they're hiding from their karma or trying to, and they can't. It's, it's literally their, their world is being messed up so bad by the divine right now. Um, and I feel like, yeah, look at this. This is what they did to you, Cancer. Betrayed you, broke your heart. I feel like you've kept silent this whole time, okay? Um, you haven't said a word. You've stayed in your own lane you you took that pain and that um, betrayal, and I feel like you healed on your own, right? So, yeah, you haven't done anything to these people. You haven't talked about them behind their back. You're not the one out there sending bad energy. You're not, you're not turning them into a joke. You just left them alone, and you went to lick your wounds and heal, okay? Yeah, now this manipulator, this is going down in flames. Whoever manipulated you, Cancer, you could be dealing with a Virgo, an Aries, maybe a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, their whole life is messed up. Um, everything that they plan, it's not coming, it's not falling through. Um, any opportunities, gone okay um this person is like running into issues at every turn everything that they try to plan um doesn't work out i mean they're losing things too i feel like they could be losing their abundance they could be losing their health they could even be losing their home somebody here could actually be homeless okay <laughs> living in a box um yeah and they're doing a whole lot of crying now as they watch you because they're realizing you know they shouldn't have joked about an earth angel you're out here as a light worker earth angel energy i feel like in in laughing about you they're laughing about the messages that are coming from god you know 
And they're watching your life transform while their life falls apart, Cancer. Um, they're like, what have I done? They're realizing now. The, here is where they realize the karma that they're getting is because of how they treated you. Not just that, Cancer, but it's like they 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 insulted the divine by in, by insulting you, making you a mockery, laughing at you, turning you into a joke. Okay, this person doesn't know how to. It's like they don't know. They, they don't know how to make this karma stop, okay? They don't know, and it, this is karma. It's almost like a punishment. I feel like divine is really angry at these people because in laughing at you, they're actually laughing at the divine. In, in making a mockery of the messages, they're actually insulting the divine, okay? Because if you're out here delivering messages and all you're doing really is paying attention and focusing on your own business. You're not even doing anything to this person, and yet they continue to make this a joke. I'm telling you, the divine is, they're insulted, and you don't insult and laugh and make a mockery of the divine. You don't do that, you know? I feel like this person is energetically calling out for help. They may need help in their life. Um, they may know that you're the only one now who can help them because you're the one who's got the spiritual knowledge that they laughed at this whole time. Okay, so this person's in a panic. Look at their bug-eyed panic cancer. Um, they're not taking good care of themselves. This person feels depleted. Yeah, here you are, the light worker. They may want another chance with you, Cancer. I feel like this person needs your spiritual knowledge now. The, the knowledge that they laughed at and joked at before now is the same knowledge that they need, okay, to pull themselves out of this, this mess that they've created. Um, and honestly, I feel like, yeah, you know what? You're staying out of it, Cancer. You know what, this person, I feel like they're getting exactly what they deserve. Okay? I, honestly, I don't even feel bad for them. I, I personally get really upset when people are making a mockery of the divine. Okay? So I feel like that may be how you feel too, Cancer. You're completely turned away from this person. They could even be trying to telepathically communicate with you here. You could be picking up on your person's energy, and it's almost like you want nothing to do with it. You may even see this person as a fool. Okay, you want nothing to do with the communication from this person or telepathic communication. You know, um, I feel like the divine is also leading you on a new journey here, this is the Fool card, so you're starting something new. Yeah, now this person wants to come back around Cancer, whoever this is. Now they see the light. It's like you've enlightened this person. Um, they see they shouldn't have laughed at you. They see who you are now, okay? I, I'm getting the sense, too, that they, um, they really do need your help breaking free from this karma but this is what they get and i feel like you you're thinking the same thing this is what they get i'm not listening i'm not helping i'm just chilling i'm feeling this really peaceful easygoing energy off of you um relaxing getting your rest maybe spending a lot of time in water okay taking spiritual baths um continuing to be a healer and in doing this and listening to the divine, you've transformed your life. And I feel like this is what's happening around the world, right? On like a global scale. I feel like the ones who are listening to the spiritual messages and allowing the divine to lead them, right? Trusting their intuition, taking it seriously, okay? The, those people are transforming their life, becoming abundant reinventing themselves, having new beginnings, okay? Healing from the from the pain that's been caused in the past. All right? 
but the ones who didn't listen are getting their karma. They can't run and hide from it. Now they're no longer laughing, Cancer. Look, the ones who were laughing and making a mockery of this and turning it into a joke, they're crying now. Look at all the tears. Where are they? Look at all the tears. Okay, now this person doesn't know what to do. They've got no help. They, they're suffering their karma. They know exactly why. Um, you're the only one who can help them. And now they want to come back in. And I feel like you've got your back turned. You don't want anything to do um, with any more people who are going to turn this into a joke. So you've, you've chosen your side here, Cancer. You're siding with the divine. You always have. And I feel like no matter what you've been put through, your faith in the divine has been unwavering. You will not bend. You will not break. And because of that, you get to move forward and start a brand new cycle that's going to be fabulous. Okay? A lot of transformation here. And I feel like, too, you may even be... Um, very used to isolation at this point. You may like being single, you know. I'm sure you can pick up on this person's energy as well. Wanting to come back in, energetically pulling on you, you know, and you're just not, you're not dealing with this person. Yeah, here's the thing. They want to come back in now, Cancer. They are going to do something. This is definitely taking action. Okay, they can't just sit there and uh, pray, you know, like pray for another chance with you, right? After making it, and it, here they are praying to God when they made, uh, they made fun of, of God's messages, okay? <laughs> yeah, Cancer, this person's on their way back in, but I feel like the divine is saying, be careful, right? Use your intuition Use your discernment with this one because honestly, um, I feel like the only reason why they stopped laughing at you, Cancer, is because now their life is falling apart. Okay, they really, and that's showing me that that's not really true, genuine support and belief. Okay, I feel like uh, also they're caught up in something here that they can't seem to break free from. Yeah, and this person, they may come in, Cancer, speaking the lingo, right? Um, uh, yeah, I am on a spiritual path. I have gone through the dark night, right? They don't even know what it is. I feel like um, they've been watching you this whole time. That You know, they've been, they know the lingo because they've been watching you, right? So they know the spiritual things that you've been talking about. And they've picked up on the language, okay? Um, enough to make fun of it. Like this is like a daily a daily routine for this person was to make fun of everything that you were talking about, all the messages that you've been getting from the divine. So they definitely know what to say, but it's all going to be like fake. They don't really know the meaning of it. Okay? They haven't done their work. If this person were to do their shadow work, right, if they were to go within and take a good hard look at themselves, they would understand the meaning of all the language. They would understand the meaning of dark night of the soul. They would understand the meaning of um, their doing their spiritual work, right? They would understand the meaning of an empath, a healer the divine they haven't they haven't actually gotten close to the divine because they didn't want to they didn't want to they wanted to continue to joke about you they wanted to continue to make fun of this they haven't learned a thing except for the language you see what i'm saying and I feel like that's what they're going to try to do is make you believe that they're spiritual too. Make you believe that, you know what, they're not getting one over on anybody. Not you, not God. Spirit has seen what they've done. Spirit has heard what they've said. 
And I'm telling you, the divine is done dealing with this person. They're getting their karma. And, you know, honestly, they want you to help them. They want to come back in um, by being fake, really, is what it is, okay, by being fake. Um, and you're going to see right through that, Cancer. You are, you are too tapped in, too committed to the divine in your path. Um, but the divine wants you to be careful. Like you may be tempted to, yes, because they're about to communicate. You may be tempted to get back with this person thinking, you know what? There's, um, potential. Okay. I want to say it's potential, but my, my camera's blinking at me, you guys. So the battery may die. Um, they have potential. But the divine is like potential doesn't mean that they're up to your speed. Is you know what I'm saying, Cancer? Having potential, like you may see this person as well. They're they're speaking my language, right? Um, they 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 know what to say. Maybe they are able to learn. Maybe I can teach them. Here's the thing, Cancer. Potential is not the same thing as being completely ready to be with an earth angel. Potential is not the same thing as, the, as a belief, okay? And this person, they, they need to become a believer. Do you know what I mean? In order to be with you. Showing potential is not the same thing. And I feel like this person's coming in fake anyway. They're panicked, okay? They don't know what to do, and they think you're the only one that can help them through this. So be very careful. Use um, a high degree of discernment here. Um, because, yeah, they're speaking your language. Sure. They know the words. They've made fun of them a million times. Okay? But potential is not the same as being ready to be with an earth angel. Okay, it's not the same thing. So be very careful. Um, some of you may not want this person back, but when they start talking to you, it might kind of turn your head, Cancer. So just use your discernment. You know, yeah, I feel like this is going down. They cannot forget about you, though. Um, I, I feel like you're going to turn this person down, Cancer. All right, you're, you're going to reject this offer. You are about to get a lot of communication. Like your phone, your phone is about to blow up. <laughs> they're going to blow up your phone. They're going to they're gonna ring it off the hook, okay? Because they can't forget you, right? You make them feel a certain way or they know that you can possibly save them and make everything better. All right. And honestly, Cancer, you are a healer. You are an empath. But, you know, the divine wants you to work with the people that have the potential to be a believer, not the potential to just learn the lingo. Does that make sense? And I feel like now, you know, you've you've put in your effort. You've put your effort into the situation. And now the divine is trying to lead you away from that, I feel, because they're giving you a brand new start here, okay? And let the divine handle this person. Seriously, spirit is mad at them right now, I'm telling you, uh, because they've seen enough of the ridicule. And in, in insulting you and making fun of you, they're actually making fun of God, that's what they're doing. If you're receiving the messages and you're um, an empath, a healer, someone who's very spiritual and they're making fun of that, they're making fun of God. So the divine is handling this person. Okay? The spirit wants you to, to choose wisely. You are going to have a decision to make because they are coming back in. Um, they're coming back in with a whole lot of communication. Speak in your language, Cancer. You know, I feel like, and this is the destruction that the divine is going to bring in their life. I'm telling you, their whole life is about to be destroyed um, for making fun of you and making fun of the divine. Okay? 
Wow, cancer. Anyway, my darlings, I'm going to take this into Patreon. Okay, I want to see what happens next. Um, I know that this person's coming forward with communication cancer, but man, be careful. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in, in the extended, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box that'll take you straight to Patreon. I want to see um, what happens during this communication, um, whatever spirit wants us to know, because now we're heading into a karmic reading, and you guys know I don't do a lot of karmic readings, okay? So yeah, I'll join you guys over at Patreon in just a little while. Um, and Cancer, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.